Well, this last Sunday, I encouraged our church to have a sizzling hot summer. Uh, I know the weather hasn't been good in the UK, but in terms of a spiritually sizzling hot summer, I really felt the Lord challenged me that many people in our world, when it comes to summertime, they throw off every restraint and they indulge every appetite of their natural body, whether it's eating too much, relaxing too much. And I believe in holidays, they're good, recreation, recreating energy. Holidays are holy days, time with God, allowing him to speak to us, time with family, allowing relationships to be restored, strengthened, deepened. But at the same time, I want to encourage you, why don't you increase your intake of God's word, go a little bit deeper into prayer, and just maybe to ponder today, what can I do to build up strength? And I use the physical example of maybe, you, you know, somebody who's going to get fit physically might decide, you know, I'm going to take up some exercise, I'm going to start eating healthy, I'm going to live clean so what I put in does me good, not harm. And I want you to do that spiritually, to feed more on God's word, to pray more and pray in the spirit and also to live clean so you're careful what you put in. And so I did that myself. I went through and I thought about, well, how much of the word should I be intaking? Uh, I, I set myself a time to pray in the spirit every single day uh, for the next few weeks. And then I set myself some stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to watch that, do that, be open to this conversation because I want to live as clean as possible. What do you need to do to have a sizzling hot summer so you're prepared for an absolutely fantastic autumn uh, that is before us?